I'm joined once again by Manisha Takor, personal finance expert and author of Get Financially Naked. In this segment, Manisha joins us to answer some viewer questions. All right, Manisha, thanks for sticking around. The first question comes from Kara, and she writes in saying, my niece blows all her allowance at once routinely. Is it okay for me to say something? I'm worried about her lack of respect for money. This is sort of a, two, a dual, dual question here. Number one is, what's my role as an aunt? And number two, how do I help my niece uh, learn about money? <laughs> so um, let me caveat this by saying I'm a, a, a PANK, which stands for Professional Aunt with No Kids. Um, so I'm saying this somewhat from an armchair. But my sense is um, that you know, if you saw your niece sitting on the sofa eating 12 cupcakes a day, you'd say something to her because you love her and you want her to do the right thing. You might also talk to her mom and dad about it, but you probably would pipe up. And I feel the same thing should go for money as well. I feel like we are way too hesitant to talk to kids about money. Um, and what I've noticed when I've observed parents who do talk honestly about their kid to their kids about money um, is that kids love getting this information. They're looking for guidance. So yes, Auntie, I would say get right in there and give some advice. Speak up. <laughs> All right. Now here's a question from Derek. I am about to propose. What is a reasonable amount to spend on an engagement ring? Is it still that old two months salary? Oh, this is a good question, Manisha. Should we still be spending two months salary on an engagement so, ring? I laugh every time I hear that rule of thumb because it reminds me of the instructions on the back of the shampoo bottles right. that say, lather up, right. rinse, repeat. Right. Um, and you know, who came up with that idea? It's the same thing with the two months. I guarantee you, well, it might've been a conspiracy of brides and diamond companies, right. um, but there's no rational reason behind that. And so my advice, Derek, is this. Buy a ring that you can pay for with cash. Right. Because you, if you can't, you, you don't want to be taking out debt for a piece of jewelry. And to me, in this economy, two months seems very extreme for most people. Any chance she might say no, though? Well, I, f I feel like, again, if you've found some of the things that I've talked about for a while, which is getting financially naked with your honey yeah. and making sure that you're talking about money, that it shouldn't come as a surprise how much that you would be able to comfortably afford. Right. And I think that if the gal says no because the ring is too small, you <laughs> may not have the, the wrong gal. You gal. Want. That's right. And actually, right. at this point, she should know your financial situation well enough to know what you can and can't afford, as you said. So. All right, Manisha. Thank you so much. Good luck to uh, to Derek. Let's hope he. Uh, let's hope she says yes. All right. Here's one from Beth. Any tips for that awkward? Here's the check moment when dining out in a group. Oh, that mm -hmm. that is a tough one. What would you tell Beth? Yeah, I am seeing that more and more, right? So it used to be like the big grab when the bill came, um, and times were good because everyone had to be like, I'm the man, I can pick up the bill. Today, it's like that big pregnant pause. And so my advice is just to be extremely truthful and say something like, oh, the joys of paying for you know lunch or dinner in a tough economic environment, how do you guys want to handle this? And just bring it up, or even better, talk about it beforehand um, to make sure that you're picking restaurants that you feel comfortable, picking restaurants that allow split bills, talking ahead of time about the conversation is another great way to avoid that awkward moment. Right, and it, Beth doesn't say here whether she's talking about a work outing or a friend outing, which I guess would have a different set of rules, right? Exactly. I feel like work outings completely separate bucket. Typically in a work outing, I would say the person who invites is the person who pays. Right. Um, but for a, a social outing, that's where it gets really awkward. All right. Thanks for that, Manisha. Now we have one, uh, one more really quickly. Garrett, I've finally started to be able to save a little bit of money. What is the best way to invest it? Good for you, Garrett. We, we love hearing questions like this. Yes. Um, and what's interesting is I, I, I hear this a lot. I've saved just a little. You invest the exact same way. I, I recommend target date retirement funds, index funds, and ETFs, whether it's a little or a lot. So you have no variation on that on that advice. All right, Manisha. No, I, I we like your consistency. That's that's great. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to answer our viewer questions today. Good to see you, Tanya. Good to see you too. We'll talk to you soon.